Ravensburger has released their four Lorcana card sets for 2024, and we have release dates. Um, first, we have Into the Inklands, uh, February 23rd, 2024, for game shops. Uh, two weeks later for Master Retail and Shop Disney. Uh, anytime I say local game shops, they release in Disney parks on the same day as game stores. But you can't buy them on the Disney website until they hit mass market, which is Target, Walmart, which is two weeks after. So that's the, the end of the exclusivity period. Um, so the only one we have a title for is Into the Inklands. That's February 23rd. And then we know a, another set is coming May 17th, another one August 9th, and another one November 15th. Um, Mallow. What, mm -hmm. How do you feel about that kind of a release schedule? Let's put aside, and you can go watch our other videos about our frustrations with Ravensburger's manufacturing issues elsewhere on the YouTube channel, but what do you think of that release schedule for sets going through this year for Lorcana? Um, I think it's good. I mean, it's won a quarter, quarter at this point. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's keeping up with magic, I think, pretty oh. well. Well, it's, um, it's releasing way less than Magic. Magic basically gets to release a month. Yeah. All uh, year. Which I can get, which I can kind of get into that a little bit later. But like, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's still a young game. And I think pacing it out for those people that you're trying to get weaned off of Magic and other things, I think the pacing is really, really good. Um, I still have yet to play Lorcana, uh, And I've yet to be able to get my hands on any cards. Um, and try to learn how to play and things like that. It's well designed. Uh, but, well, and that's, yeah, that's, that is a sentiment that I have heard from everybody that I have seen and talked to playing the game in mm -hmm. local game stores and stuff is they're like, no, this is a solid game. Like it is a well done game with good IP behind it. Um, good art. Art looks fantastic. On oh the yeah. The art looks great. Stuff like that. Um, which, you know, Ravensburger does a hell of a job on the villains and stuff like that. Like villainous and those games. Oh and yeah. Stuff, so I wouldn't expect anything else. Um, for a year is much more palpable than what Magic is doing this year, I think. Um, and it gives you time to breathe, and it gives you time to play the set before you've got to worry about collecting more cards and stuff like yes. that, I feel like. So I am starting to see them out in the wild more. People talk about, is interested, can't find them. Check some of the LGSs. Some LGSs kind of gave up on Lorcana initially, mm -hmm. right? Because there was and huge... so. And, and we experienced it. And, and there's a whole, I, we've done this topic before. Go check our other stuff. We were, I, I have been a big, I was a big proponent for Lorcana. I did a lot of content on Ravensburger and Lorcana. I was very disappointed with the release. It is getting better. I'm able to find certain decks now. Um, mm -hmm. So like I've got most of the, the starter decks from both uh, chapter one and chapter two. Um, and a, a variety of other Lorcana cards floating around my house. Um, I think a quarter of the release from a distribution and kind of a hype machine, mm -hmm. I think it's good. Uh, and you want to compare it to Magic. So I'm looking at Magic's uh, 2024 release schedule. So Ravnica Remastered, I think, just dropped. Uh, Murders at Karloff Manor is February. Fallout is March. April is Outlaws of Thunder Junction. May is May or June is Modern Horizons 3. Then we have Assassin's Creed uh, Bloomborough and Duskmorn in Q3. That's all we know so far. Um, yeah, but now some of those are universes beyond, so those are commander only. Those won't be on the yeah the Fallout and Assassin's thing. Creed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, still it's, think it's just too much. I mean, I it's tend to so agree. Much. Yeah, Ravnica came because, out five days ago. Yeah, and and I was all about and I. I have been back and forth because we have issues with uh, magics and wizards use of AI art and things like that. Um, and I haven't purchased magic cards uh, in a few months, actually, mm -hmm. um, just because it's really like to get excited, right? Ravnica Remastered getting a collector's booster box would be the way that I go because I like the art. And I know that the professor from uh Tolarian community college yep. disagrees with you know the whole co collector's box and stuff like that but it's like no i like the i like the additional art i like all the, the fancy kind of things that come along with it i, I think, think they could be a lot of fun i think yeah. they're a little overpriced but i think they could be a lot of fun 100 percent agree um but i know what i'm getting into and i'm making a i'm personally making a choice 
to purchase the more expensive box. Yeah. Um, because I'm I want those kind of art cards and stuff like that, right? Um, it's just like if I buy singles off a of Card Kingdom, I'm looking for sometimes I'm looking for the fancier ones on purpose because I like them. Mm -hmm. Right, like my first sliver is the retro -y one that looks like it's the back of a, a '80s uh, yeah. VHS kind of thing. Yeah, I paid a, a couple extra bucks, not too much more because slivers are expensive. But I paid a couple extra bucks just to get that version because I thought it was cool. Yep. Um, but like again, I, me as a consumer, I'm trying to make that choice, um, and I clearly haven't for Ravnica, even though there's cards I need for like my dragon deck and stuff like that for Ravnica. Um, and there's you know I'd love to do a card opening stream again with everybody for a collector's box. Um, because I love those ones where we just kind of hang out and we open packs and just talk and, you know, talk about strategies and stuff. Yeah. Um, but it's been really hard to kind of get excited about it. You know, Murders at Karlov Manor looks in, uh, it looks amazing. And I love the, the story that they're putting behind it and stuff like that. But like, that's another set on top of the set that just dropped mm -hmm. on top of another set that's coming. Like, and they're coming with, with solid flavors. Like, I'm not, not knocking the sets themselves. Like, uh, Wilds of Eldraine, solid, right? Uh, Ixalan, pretty solid, I would say. I like a lot I, of the stuff I, that. I didn't like it as much as Eldraine. And I think... No, no, no. I, I, well, I like the dinosaurs yeah. portion of it. I thought that was fantastic. The the vampires left a little and, bit and to be... And Bloomborough new. from this year reminds me a lot of Eldraine, because it's like the, like, you know, yeah, mouse fighters. Um, uh -huh. I, I will probably pick up the Fallout cards... Um, Outlaws of Thunder Junction reminds me of New Capenna, which I was a big fan of Streets of New Capenna. I like mm -hmm. Western idea. I think that's kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, again, kind of bringing it back around. I think probably a quarter they release is probably the smartest way to go. The only thing that you're going to have to do, Ravensburger, if you're watching me again. Please. You, Hi. You, and uh, yeah, they've, they've bumped into my comment sections before. And again... I am rooting for Lorcana, so please understand this. You've got to step up the game on those organized play kits. Like we need, you need more stuff, mm -hmm. stuff to kind of roll through all that organized play to keep people in the damn stores. That's yeah. again, the way this isn't going to turn into a Yu-Gi-Oh or a One Piece or one of these very niche card games. If you want to have that really big mass market appeal. You've got to keep them coming back. I mean, solid. You've got to, as a store owner, have enough stuff yes. to sustain an organized play thinking, right? And we were able, we could do that with Magic very easily, and you can do it with Pokemon very easily, both with the amount of normal product that you get plus the supplementary stuff. Um, that's very doable. Uh, One of the things that I like to, to play off that exact kind of thing that you're talking about is something that they announced recently called Disney Lorcana Gateway or TCG Gateway. Mm -hmm. um, they call it a progressive learn to play experience designed to ease new players into the game in the TCG Smart. space. Smart. 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 And, and it's one of those, it's basically a beginner box. It's everything that two players would need. It's two 30 card basic decks, uh, two player game board with the standees, all that kind of stuff, rules, players guide, everything. Very, 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 very smart. Um, go ahead and just put in another order for those right now, Ravensburger, because you're probably going to sell out of the first ones. Uh, because you're getting with the with the Disney with the Disney TCG, you're getting the younger crowd that may not want to play Magic the Gathering. Well, and you right? can, you can get you can get such a wide swath of people. And again, this yeah. is why I really thought that this was the chance that you had. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm rooting for Ravensburger. Y'all need to come up with more stuff there. I think a quarter I, I would release like is see, probably right. So Ravensburger knows how to get a hold of us and stuff like that. Send mm. us a couple boxes. Let us do a card, like a pack opening stream for you. I'll do it. Let's jump into it. I know nothing about Lorcana. Let me learn and do on stream and let me open some packs and, and you know, get, get me excited about wanting to play this game. You know, because I, I do love trading card games. I'm very competitive with them and stuff like that. And you, you know, are. I got a lot of love for Disney and, and things like that. Uh, you know, like help help us out. We'll we'll rep you a little bit when it comes to stuff like that. Like yep. all day long. All right. Well, let's see what you think in the comments. It's quarterly, right? Or do you want to see them like magic where it's like big release, small release, big release, small release all year long? Do you just, just nonstop? Lord knows they have enough IP to go for it. So let us know what you think down below. Yeah.